Most of us know why a boat floats and a rock sinks. But how well does your average beach lover really understand floating and sinking? Excuse me, mate. Hello. Can I ask you a scientific question? I've got a boat, right? Imagine right. it's floating in a pool yeah. and there's a rock in it. Now, what would happen if I throw the rock overboard into the pool, would the water level in the pool go up or down? Or do you reckon it would stay the same? I reckon it would stay the same. I would say it would go up. Stay the same. Stay the same. Yeah. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, go. Come over here. Robert Oppenheimer, yeah. famous physicist, very smart. He got this completely wrong as well, according to legend. So did I. So it's very difficult. All right, well, here's a swimming pool, a bit rough, and here's a boat, and that's your rock. Put the whole lot in, so there we go. Water level, mark it there. Happy? Yeah. All right, here we go. Rock goes overboard. Boat goes in. Where's the water level? Down. Have a look. Yep. Which is weird, right? Yeah it's, yeah? it's gone down. What happens is an object that's floating displaces a volume of water that has the same weight as the object, but an object that sinks, that only displaces its own volume, not its weight worth of water. And so when the boat goes back in, the water level stays down. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. Thanks very much. We've all learned something. Be able to sleep better, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, mate. Yeah, no thank worries. You. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a good day.